everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. As you guys know, I love to do like 30 day vlog challenges, and recently I just did Manifesting March, where I look to create, earn, manifest money beyond the limitations of my salary to kickstart round three of the $1,000 project. Now, Manifesting March has just finished, and I cannot wait to share with you how much money I manifested because it's really very cool. But before I do this, I want to make sure that number one, you've already subscribed, and number two, that you learn about what I learned myself from doing Manifesting March. Because to be honest, whilst I manifested physical money, the blessings and the lessening lessons and the awareness far outweigh the physical dollars. So I'm going to share them with you and I would love it if you could put a comment in the comment box below as to what you learned if you did Manifesting March as well. All right, number one, I realized that manif money manifestation comes in all different forms, not necessarily physical dollars. I was given amazing business advice and guidance. I had stimulating, enlightening conversations. I um, experienced new things. I was given amazing opportunities and connections. The manifestations appeared in many different forms. The second thing that I realized from doing Manifesting March is I needed to slow down, relax, trust, and simplify. Frugal February, I was like very strict and in control, and um, and and you know, just this like tight, aggressive energy. And that's because I was focusing on lack and um, scarcity. Where manifesting March is the opposite of that. It's about like believing and trusting and. You, like to be able to do that, you can't be running around like a headless chicken like I normally am. You need to slow down and, and see things and witness things and identify things. And that was something really powerful for me to realize in doing Manifesting March. The third thing I realized from doing Manifesting March, which is similar to the second point, is energy. During frugal February, I was constantly tired. I think I complained throughout my vlogs about being so tired, ready for bed. I could have like put myself to sleep with how boring that sounded. But I found that, you know, watching back in my Manifesting March vlogs, I was always happy, I was always positive. Okay, there were a few times I was a bit tired and flat, but I was really calm and I was really accepting of things. And it made me realize, you know, that place of scarcity and lack of is a contracting place. Whereas the place of manifesting and creating and imagining and earning and doing is a, you know, a very open place and it's expansive. And when you expand, your energy levels rise. And I was just like, generally, my enthusiasm for life was just so much better from doing Manifesting March. And that kind of makes sense because if going back to point number two, you know, in order to be able to slow down and have more energy, that's what enables you to use your imagination and creativity to come up with ideas and opportunities to help manifest money. Number four, I realized from doing Manifesting March that I had to take my tidiness and organization and minimalism to another level. I realized that if I was creating a space where I was being creative and, and opening up the channels and flow of money and opportunities, I couldn't have things that were blocking or distracting me. And that meant being much more aware of like clean, calm spaces to work within and live within. So I had to be a lot more conscious as to my environment and making it a harmonious and tranquil one for Manifesting March. The fifth thing I realized from doing Manifesting March is actually the honor of Frugal February. I picked up some fantastic habits in Frugal February, like things like having a coffee at home instead of buying one from a cafe, um, taking lunch to work or having lunch at home, um, having the occasional quiet weekend at home. They were great habits, and I was a because I was able to just automatically embed them in my like actions and systems, I didn't even think about it from a frugal perspective, I just did it. And from that, I was able to put more money in the $1,000 project account for Manifesting March. So I think it's also about respecting the place of being frugal, but also balancing it out with a place of manifestation and abundance. Then the sixth thing I realized from doing Manifesting March is planting seeds and respecting the gestation period. Um, there were lots of conversations and ideas that were given to me during the, the month of um, Manifesting March, but didn't actually physically finish or or um, conclude or um, be paid, for example, in the month of March as much as I would have loved that. But 
business doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. Those proposals that I pitched on, those the jobs that I did, whilst they weren't necessarily paid on the spot, they'll be paid later on. I've planted seeds in what I feel and believe is rich, fertile soil that are going to manifest either next month or maybe later in the year, but they will continue to flow on um, through you know the round three of the thousand thousand dollar project, which is really exciting. So again, like respecting that things cannot just like you can't just click your fingers and demand to be paid or, or to get jobs. People, you have to respect people's own decision process, respect people's own flow of money and, and their own manifesting of money and their own investments themselves within you or other people. So yeah, plant seeds in Manifesting March for the future. And then the final thing that I discovered from doing Manifesting March was it really did like stimulate and awaken my sense of curiosity, imagination, creativity, drive, strength, and awareness. I'm so much more capable than I realized. The opportunities out there are limitless. I became aware of my own blocks and the work that I need to do to reduce and eliminate my own blocks and be at peace with my own blocks. They're only there to, I guess, keep me grounded, keep me sensible, respectful, and wise, but I can grow from them and through them. So in summary, Manifesting March was magnificent. I loved every minute of it and I will definitely be doing it next year. Now, the big question that everyone is wanting to know, how much money did I manage to manifest? Well, my answer is including $1,000, which I'm owed and due to be paid shortly um, for a job that I've already started. I manifested, including this money, $3,000. $391.20. Now, yes, I didn't hit my $4,000 goal, but that's okay because I'm pretty darn proud of myself. And you know what? If this is such a fantastic note to start off round three of the $1,000 project. Plus, I'm pretty sure all that hard work of conversations, opportunities, pitches, proposals, plans are going to come into fruition later in the year. And I am really excited as to like making my first lump sum of investing this money of just over three thousand dollars so i will link in the video description box below you where you can see exactly where this money has been invested as to the whole sugar mama portfolio because i'm sure you're also dying to see with all the market volatility what this portfolio is actually worth and what the passive income is up to all right that is it for this video please make sure you have a go at doing the manifesting march or do manifesting may even yourself it's an amazing opportunity and you think about it what I manifested is three times greater than what I saved, as you know, four times greater than what I saved from doing Frugal February. So if you are someone who is frugal, maybe you need to adjust your mindset and attitude to a place of manifestation. Have a great week, everyone. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Ciao for now.